from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News at 10. Well, people always tell women what to expect when you're expecting, but it's harder to know what to expect when you're pregnant and over the age of 40 or at risk of having a premature baby. Channel 7 Serafina Brooks shares the answers in a story that she knows all too well. Serafina. The miracle of birth can be quickly overshadowed by numerous complications. 26 years ago, my mother was pregnant and in her 40s when doctors told her her pregnancy would be anything but easy. And the day I was born, almost two months before my due date, it was clear they were right. This evening, I'm exploring what a high-risk pregnancy is like in 2016, 20 plus years after my birth, and how technology is helping to save babies who just couldn't wait to come into this world. You're a sweet boy. <laughs> a happy mom and baby makes baby. for a great picture with a lifetime of memories attached. But the story that's not always told is what it took to get here. For me and my mother, our journey began before we met. At just 20 weeks pregnant, my mother went into preterm labor, a frightening experience for a first-time mother-to-be and a threat to my life as well. The doctor ordered my mother to go on bed rest for months, but on May 14, 1990, my mother went into active labor, and one hour later, I made my debut into this world, two months before my due date. And while it may come as a surprise to mothers who have their children early, for my mother, it was not. All because doctors warned her she would experience possible complications because she was pregnant over the age of 40. As you age, as women age, there's a greater risk of a chromosomal abnormality with the baby. And so that uh, makes them at much greater risk for uh, miscarriage uh, and for having a baby with a chromosomal abnormality like Down syndrome. Dr. Richard Wyatt, OBGYN at Baptist Health Hospital, says now it's quite common to find women waiting later in life to start their families. I think an interesting thing in my patient population is that as I've aged, they have aged. So we see a lot of women over 40 uh, having babies. and. Uh, that's a trend nationally. 44-year-old Natasha Jones is the mother of seven. In fact, she had two children in her 40s, including this little pumpkin. It was actually one of my easiest pregnancies. So she was, I mean, she was very easy to carry. And, um, you know, I was tired a lot. I was probably more tired than I had been with any of the others. So does that dispel the myth? that women over the age of 40 will have a troubled pregnancy. Dr. Wyatt says women in their 40s go on to have healthy babies, but their mature age can cause them to face several risks. Things like uh, preterm labor is, uh, and delivery is increased risk in uh, women of age. And while that became a reality for my mother, Dr. Wyatt says the treatment and care for premature babies has come a long way since the 90s. The biggest uh, success uh, in, in kind of perinatal, neonatal medicine is uh, what happens in the NICU. One little guy who can attest to that is Nebby. While most babies are born around 40 weeks, little Nebby was born around 30 weeks. And for the last two weeks, he's been in the neonatal intensive care unit at Baptist Health Hospital. Babies that are born before 37 weeks are considered premature and at risk for a variety of problems, including most commonly breathing problems, respiratory and lung issues. Luckily, before I was born, the doctors gave me steroid treatments in utero in an effort to stimulate my my lung growth. Dr. William Benton, medical director of neonatal intensive care unit at Baptist says in 2016 there are now a variety of technologies in the NICU to help preemies that are born with respiratory issues. One of the big innovations in the last several decades has been our ability to treat the lung problems very rapidly with surfactants allowing us to either avoid prolonged ventilation, avoid the breathing tubes, and being able to use uh, ventilation techniques through the nose and that has tremendously decreased the amount of complications. So if you plan on being an older mom or you worry about a high-risk pregnancy, what's the secret to having a healthy baby? 
Well, Dr. Wyatt says the best time to get pregnant is in your 20s. And if that doesn't pan out, pro mom Natasha has some advice. We shouldn't be so constrained by time or the pressure that society tells us we should have babies now or when or or thinking we're too old to have babies at a certain time. There's always challenges, whether you're 20 or you're 40, there's always challenges. So I think really just um, trusting that, you know, God has planned for your life and, um, and seeking that out. I think that, that you can trust now. that it'll be okay. That we're just kind of... Another technology that's come a long way since the 90s is the ability to drop the temperature of babies in what's called hypothermic treatment. For babies who experience oxygen defi deficiency at birth, this has a big impact on their brain and nervous system. Beth. All right, Serafina Brooks reporting for us tonight. Thank you. And doctors say that women have a higher risk to have premature babies if they abuse drugs, if they do not receive prenatal care, and if they are under the age of 18.